from the first uh, negative speaker. Um, the affirmative starts out saying that uh, 18 year olds um, circumvent the law by just convincing people who are over 21 to buy them alcohol. Um, to say that uh, people go around the law as a reason to just make things legal is not a very good argument. Um, in addition to that, uh, it can follow that because 18 year olds can convince 21 year olds to buy them alcohol, that if 18 year olds were able to buy alcohol, that they would be buying uh, alcohol for kids even younger than that and drinking would start at a much younger age, at around 14 or 15. Um, in addition to that, he also states that um, it would cause more stealing, it would cause kids to steal uh, alcohol from their parents, um, causing more kids to become criminals. Um, there was actually a, a statement by the New York Times that said, um, research by two economists showed that the arrest for violent crimes um, amongst people who were uh, intoxicated was highest among 21 to 23 year olds, which shows that if we were to lower the drinking age, that that would probably cause more crime rates um, amongst younger kids instead of the opposite effect. Um, he also says that uh, in other countries it would be, um, in other countries there's younger drinking ages, um, he doesn't actually go into anything that talks about uh, the risk factors of drinking at such an early age. Um, before, like 2009, we thought that um, brains were fully developed at around 18, uh, but a study shows that it doesn't actually, um, your brain isn't actually fully developed until around 25 and even sometimes into your 30s. Um, a study conducted at the University of California, San Diego, um, compared brain scans of teens that drank heavily compared to those who didn't, and um, there was actually permanent nerve tissue damage in their brains um, that was found that was irreversible. Um, what habitual drinking does when your brain isn't fully developed is it damages the white matter that you have, which um, is what sends like neuro signals to the rest of your brain. And uh, before your brain is, is fully developed, your prefrontal cortex, which is um, the part of your brain that has to do with uh, like impulse control and um, like thought processes, how you uh, make decisions, that gets greatly affected because it isn't fully developed until you're around 25 to 30 years old. Um, and habitual drinking can damage that irreparably, uh, causing um, uh, like memory loss, um, atten like uh, attention deficit disorder, um, which leads to more kids uh, being not able to pay attention in school, uh, lose focus and things like that. So lowering the drinking age to 18, which is the age that a lot of uh, people are when they're seniors in high school would be uh, damaging to that. Um, and then, uh, as far as comparing ourselves to other countries, um, there is a, a large cultural difference between us and other countries. Um, so like in Germany, for instance, uh, beer is seen as more of a drink with dinner versus uh, American culture where we uh, support binge drinking more often um, and are more likely, 18 to 21 year olds are more likely to um, binge drink when they drink, which is drinking more than uh, four or five drinks at one time. Um, a study by the World Health Organization uh, actually found that um, amongst, amongst uh, 18 to 21 year olds, there was uh, a far larger amount of um, people in America who drank to the point of intoxication more often than um, the same age group in Europe. Uh, about one in 10 times in Europe, 
uh, kids drink to the point of intoxication, which is when you're no longer able to control yourself or uh, act as a prudent person, whereas uh, over half of uh, every incidence of, getting, of drinking in, results in intoxication amongst American kids. Um, and then there's also, um, as far as lowering the drinking age uh, into the results that stem into adulthood, um, kids who start drinking at a younger age are far more likely to uh, drink into adulthood. There was a study by uh, Science News for Students that said that people who drank before the age of 15 were five times more likely to uh, use use alcohol as an abusive substance into their adulthood um, and do something uh, and do binge drinking for far more 